Westpac's TechX event, now in its seventh year, aims to get the bank staff excited about technology. Like many other businesses, Westpac is constantly on the lookout for fresh talent, as well as stepping up its efforts to retain and upskill its existing workforce. The annual expo is a key part of that. TechX aims to inform and engage staff on in-house innovation as well as tech developments across the globe. TechX is, a, is an idea where we wanted to bring everyone together who's in the tech community, but also those people that are non-tech that want to learn a bit about tech. So bringing them together to get them a, an idea of what we're doing in the bank, but also what's out there, what the, you know, the external perspective and getting a good view of what's coming. The event features virtual sessions from in-house experts, as well as industry thought leaders on topics ranging from the cloud and artificial intelligence to scam and fraud prevention, coding and engineering. Activities at the event site include a McLaren Formula One simulator and an opportunity to explore the metaverse with Microsoft. There's also a demonstration of Amazon's Deep Racer, an autonomous mini car which uses machine learning to navigate its way around a course. TechX is a really great opportunity to be able to go around and see everything that's happening in group tech in Westpac. Um, but especially the fact that it's all very interactive, so you can touch things, try things, feel things out, and also, of course, talk to the people involved. So very exciting and very cool opportunity to have. I'm actually hoping to become a UI engineer myself, so to do a little bit of design, a little bit of coding, engineering. But the great thing about working at a big company like Westpac is that if at any point I want to try something else um, or move to do a different area, then that's totally possible because my options are always open. You don't need to be a tech professional to know that demand for tech skills these days is booming. As companies furiously innovate on the digital front, competition for talent is fierce. A recent study by the Tech Council of Australia found there could be a need for up to 650,000 new tech workers by 2030. And another study by Corn Ferry found that the shortage of tech workers could be costing big business up to $8.5 trillion in lost annual revenue. Young, highly sought tech professionals are not afraid to jump from employer to employer, and high staff turnover can result in delays to a company's digital plans. For organisations to keep their best and brightest, they need to work harder to keep them engaged and invested. Skills shortage is going to be a problem for many years to come, it's not going to go away, so we're really doing two things to address that. The first is really lifting our people that we've got, making them experts, giving them opportunities. You know, TechX has been one example of that, but we run lots of things throughout the year to really give them the skills necessary and going to continue to build the people we've got. The other thing is we're looking externally. We're actually grading, uh, getting external people to come in and giving them a great value proposition to come and join Westpac.